Hey, what's going on, everyone? We're at NAMM this weekend. Even though I'm a music artist, I'm a big audio nerd. And we're just here to see what new, exciting, cool stuff they have to offer. Let's begin. First of all, I have to say I'm very impressed with this microphone right here. This is the Sony C80. Such a small body. But if you actually listen to it, and they're comparing it with the legendary, obviously, you know what this is. I'm very impressed with the size of this microphone. I feel like it's very good for, you know, a little travel setup when you have to record like in the hotel room or whatever, or on the road in general. Obviously, it's a little difficult to gauge the sound of this microphone in this noisy environment, but, you know, just comparing it, it sounds very close. How long ago did this come out? At the New York AES show about four months ago or something like that. Okay, so it's brand new. It's very new. It's it's the C80. It's the little brother of the C800G. Right. This one's eleven thousand seven hundred dollars, and it's about almost two to three years back ordered. This one is four ninety nine. Sounds almost identical. Everybody knows these. We love them. We use them. Everyone has them. So these are new. They're about to come out soon. They're called Sony MDR MV1. And they sound amazing, first of all. They're very light and very comfortable. And for me personally, I'm always looking for good headphones that are comfortable and light. Now for all of my content creators, so Zoom has these recorders that look like microphones. That looks pretty cool. You know when you have like your little Zoom recorder on video, if you do like interview style content and stuff like that, it actually looks like a microphone. Uh, these guys have gotten to be hugely popular, especially for anyone that's in like the voiceover world. Oh really? And then they're fucking sick on like acoustic pianos or acoustic guitars too. But they're like a full on Netzer microphone capsule has some similarity as that same 187. And uh, the big reason why these things are so unique is that they have an actual analog built-in compressor. And it's dead easy to use. It's just this main button you just tap on it, and it changes between different levels of it. Mm -hmm. What's so cool is that when you set this thing to like two or so, it just is kind of the instant radio-ready thing. It just doesn't require almost anything on the back end. We've seen people deliver stuff to Netflix, Disney, all kinds of stuff with it. Wow. How much are these going for? These guys are $349. And another kind of cool thing is, we were just debuting this. Uh, this is not yet released, but will be in the next couple months. What happens with USB microphones is people love them and they use them by themselves, but then at some point they want to incorporate other microphones into it. Yeah. And they're kind of stuck because typically a conventional USB microphone, there's no easy way of combining it with other sources. So we now made an app, we call it First Take. The idea behind the app is it's like voice memos, but for podcasts. Ah. So you can just hook up multiple USB mics, go in here, hit record, it'll make an easy stereo mix so you can just upload it directly. But it also will shoot out all individual audio as well, so if you want to mix it, combine it with other sources, wow. it gives you all that flexibility and power. Alright, so I'm right here by the Soyuz booth, and uh, the mic that I want to show you today is this one right here, the Tula mic. So the coolest thing about it, it has, you said 8 gigs? 8 inside gigs, it? yeah. 8 gigs of storage inside of it, and you can actually record on it and then connect it to your computer as a USB and dump all your uh, files. All right, you can actually connect this to, oh, this is coming in too hot. Hot? Too hot? We can turn it down. Okay, okay. There we go. Oh, perfect. All right, you can actually connect this to your camera, straight to your camera. Uh, the mic cord is a little too short, but this is what it sounds like. It is going for 259. Very good for what it can do. Incredible. 60 bucks and this upgrade is yours. I was about to ask that question. Nice. Is it out now or? Next month. Next month. Yeah. yeah. So for all existing Soundtours 5 bundle users, including the EDU bundle if you have it, um, it's $60 to upgrade. And if you have Little Plate Which on I its do. own, um, it's also 60 bucks to upgrade Little Plate to Super Plate. If you have Effect Rack, you'd like to buy Super Plate, then if you purchase it, you can use it within a fret crack like that. And if you're familiar with Little Plate, you might know that it was based off of the EMT-140. And this time we've flown in four more plates. I think actually it gives class the same birthday in Boston. I mean, look, Disneyland is across the street, but this is Disneyland for me. Yeah, this is better. I've been mixing 5-1 for centuries now, I think. You know, back when it started, when 5.1 was a thing for about a minute, I don't know if anybody remembers. Now, Avid has some really cool controllers here. This is the S1 controller, and it's pretty cool, man.
So yeah, I'm a big like fan of stacking like things like this on top of each other, where like you, you easily could play it like all at once. But this way, you can kind of like, especially with one mic on it, you can like fan stuff and kind of like break things out and make it a little wider and more interesting. So right now we are in the pro audio section, as you you know obviously can tell. But there's also the main hall, and they have you know instruments and more stuff there. So that's where we will go next. Let me get out of here real quick, bro. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Today is day two, and I'm not gonna lie to you, it's way more popping than it was yesterday. This is so cute. Do you want me to shoot you? Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. They don't need to see me. They've seen me before. <laughs> Insane. I don't think I've ever seen these, but this is a really nice desk. Look at that. Rack space. Pretty limited, but still. I imagine you can uh, put more. Yeah, you can put more on this side. Yeah. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Uh, a little tray here for your keyboard and mouse, or like your uh, MIDI keyboard. Now, if you're into two mics, this warm audio, what's it called? WA8000. It kind of resembles the Sony one that we saw, but it's actually, uh, you know, it's not $12,000. And I've used this mic before, and it's pretty great. This is what it looks like. I know you guys love the SM7B, right? And you use it all the time. So there's this new Cloud Lifter, Cloud Lifter X. So the X, it basically, so the CO1, it gives you 25 dB of gain. The X can give you up to 36. Adds a really wonderful input transformer that, that just has a massive bandwidth, like up to about 100K. And it just gives you such clarity and richness, up to 36 dB of ultra clean gain. And with the transformer vibe, it's actually cool because we got this little button here where you can take it from a max level down to about 12 dB, but it's not a pad, it's an output attenuator, so it allows you to hammer the input like with a snare on a, on a 57 or, or you know a louder source like a raging guitar, and you can hit that transformer just a little bit harder and get a little bit more of that harmonic content and transformer saturation and get more vibe on your recordings. It's really great and it's super clean. It's ultra clean like any other cloud lifter and uh, will just take help you to elevate your sound. And now the guitars are in here as well. Our claps and the percussion. And then we have uh, more hi-hats here. 